Hello, Dr. Michelle here. Today I am going to be discussing endometriosis and histamine and how the two intersect. And so as a refresher, endometriosis is a condition where we find the innermost lining of the uterus, which is called the endometrium, somewhere uh, outside of the uterus, and that tissue can still be hormonally reactive and therefore still shed. So depending on its location, uh, where we find those lesions, where we find that endometrium, we can have a variety of different symptoms. Often pain is one of them. Now, histamine is used in a number of physiological reactions, but to give a simple example, um, histamine is utilized in allergic reactions, for instance. And so mast cells, which contain histamine, release histamine uh, to, to create vascular leakiness, to allow immune cells to go from inside the blood to inside uh, other areas of the body, to fight the infection. In the case of a peanut allergy, for instance, peanuts are not actually infectious, but our body deems it to be that way, and so it's reacting inappropriately to that antigen, to that, um, to the peanut in that in that particular scenario. Now, as that relates to endometriosis, is that we see immunological changes in people with endometriosis. We used to think that endometriosis was a condition caused by uh, elevated estrogen. We've now come to realize that it's actually an inflammatory condition that is reactive and sensitive to hormones, but not caused by them. And so in, in people with endometriosis, we do see a predisposition for them to be more histaminergic, meaning they produce more histamine and histamine and endometriosis ultimately can increase blood flow to endometrial tissues, thus increasing pain and increasing inflammation, causing a worsening of symptoms. The good news and why we talk about this in any capacity is that we want to have a multi, um, multi approach to how we treat endometriosis. So for just addressing uh, estrogen, not sufficient. The good news is that histamine can be modified. And so we know that gut health is big uh, for triggering histamine. Certain foods can trigger histamine. We know that stress very much increases histamine amongst a number of other factors, those being just some of the most predominant that are very modifiable. So ultimately, uh, if you have endometriosis and you're struggling and we're not addressing histamine, it might be something that you want to explore um, so that we can get bigger and better, longer sustained results. All right, that ends my rant today on endometriosis and histamine.